when doing this division problem with remainders, the 16 would be a remainder because it's smaller than our divisor of 18. So with remainders, we have an answer of 2 remainder 16. However, if we need an answer with decimals, then we have to carry out our number even further and add a zero to the end of 16 to make it 160 so that our divisor, 18, can go into it. We also put our decimal right to the right of the 2. So now we have to figure out how many times 18 goes into 160 without going over. This type of problem is more challenging, but one way to conquer it is to use rounding. So in our head, we're going to round up and make the 18 a 20. Now we ask ourselves, how many times does 20 go into 160? And it happens to go in eight times exactly. So we know that 18 must go into 160 eight times without going over. Therefore, we experiment and see what we get. Once we multiply 18 by 8, we get 144, which is less than 160. So we subtract 144 from 160. Since we multiplied 18 by 8, we put 8 directly to the right of the decimal point. Now we're left with 16. Once again, 16 is less than 18, so we have to add another 0. Now we already know that 18 will go into 160 eight times without going over, and we're going to get the same thing each time. Therefore, our 8 will repeat itself infinitely. So in this case, we're going to put a little bar on top of the 8 to show that it will repeat infinitely. So our final answer will be 2.8 with our line at the top of the 8 showing that it goes on forever.